today we're gonna do the new pompadour uh, for for a bride actually. You know, it could be a bride, it could be a, a evening. You know, my name is Yves Durif, and I have uh, my hair salon inside the Carlisle Hotel in Madison Avenue. And uh, here we have Chantal Adair, my, one of my muse and muse and model. And uh, uh, Chantal has all kind of lengths in her hair. You know, she's she cutting her short, growing, lots of bleach, lots of. Um, but you know, I, I like the hair like this because when the hair is bleached, it becomes like a almost like a, a, a play doh, you know. And you know, Chantal, you know, in, in regard to to make what is possible and. She also keep her, you know, funky enough and that she can do all kind of stuff. She has an undercut here, you know. So you can see her hair is undercut, almost like a short hair. So she can make her hair look very short. But let's say she's is getting married tomorrow or today. <laughs> and we had that hair, so it's like, oh my god, you know. It's so, it's every kind of length, it's every kind of... Uh, and there's no proper style, you know, you know, per se. Except the fact that we have the undercut, when we show it, it always looks, you know, you know way funkier than, than if we have a full, uh, you know, one-man pair. So what I did, I, I just, uh, I just curled with the curling iron this morning, and I'm gonna do like, I, I don't know, in, these days I'm really into uh, into the pompadour look, you know, uh, in French pompadour, in English pompadour, <laughs> this is the same. Uh, you know, and uh, I, I like the I like the idea of the pompadour even on short hair. You know that kind of like you know I think we're going back to that in a bit of a of, it's, it's a mix of rock and roll and Marie Antoinette to me. You know, it's <laughs> like stray cats meet uh, Marie Antoinette. So you know, stray cats is also one of my favorite uh, bands uh, in the seventies. So the hair is prepared very uh, you know I I re I recut a little bit the uh, you know the undercut. I love the idea that uh, there's still some blonde on the end, you know? We wanted to do the color uh, yesterday, and we just to do the color. It's great. I, I, love, I love hair like this. I wish we could do hair. It looks exactly like this with the, the color, but generally speaking, it's not happening. So here we go. So the hair is being prepared with a curling iron, <coughs> uh, you know, just to create a nice texture. And now we're going to tease it. That's an old days. The good thing of not being a junior stylist is that you really know how to tease. Okay. And again, hair is being bleached. It's so um, prone to be, uh, you know, to be, to be teased, to be manipulated. You know? So it's, I always say like bleach hair is a bit like Play-Doh. It takes the shape that we want to give it. So, mm -hmm. so as you can see, the hair really reacts promptly to the teasing, and I don't have to tease too too much actually. You know, I'm using a hairspray from Tito. You don't have to be too too. Uh... And it's a hairspray was uh, it's made with a fibrin of silk, so it's not damaging to the hair. It's actually it's actually pretty good you know, to the hair. Top of uh, hairspray and not damaging, it usually doesn't go together, you know. But in this case, it does. So here we're doing on the back as some kind of a French twist. So here we're, I'm, I'm taking taking the back. I don't want any volume right here. So it's almost doing like a little uh, stitching, you know? See? And then I try the, the volume to be huge on the top, you know? And I want to leave the ends kind of free. Instead of, you know, the whole idea is to keep some free hands. You see, even if the hair is pretty short on the front, it can have these effects of long hair. The hair is not really long. Now I'm using the hairspray is a little stronger you know, because I don't want the hair to collapse on the front. Okay. And that's from Peter also. I believe it's there. The walkable holding spray. I don't really know the name in French. 
thing where you have a, where, you know, wherever I put the hair, it basically stays, you know? And it's fun because it's shorter underneath. So being, being short and up, it creates a nice base for the, for the longer length on the top. It's nice when I have a sideway mirror so I can see I can see what's going on. So of course for you know for a bride we could uh, you know we could you know something around it's a bit of bandeau all around here. You see I didn't even attach anything yet, you know, it's it's still kind of floating. Madame, Madame Pompadour, I, I, you know, I, I forget my history of France, I'm here for way too long. You know, Madame de Pompadour was uh, living under, I believe, don't quote me though, uh, Louis XIV. You know, and uh, she was one of those ladies who were very social, you know. And I'm sure some people thought she was too social, but you know, it's very, uh, and, but the hair was huge. I mean, this is big hair, right? I mean, you don't see that all the time, everywhere. But Madame de Pompadour had, you know, basically they had, they had to, uh, the anecdote is that when uh, she went to a party uh, and uh, they had to raise the door for her to pass. So she couldn't pass, she couldn't pass the door, you know. But that's that old idea, you know, of the Pompadour, like, you know, that very, like, that it's so big that there's no door frame who, uh, who are, you know, who works for her. So now we're, we're picking that with a little, uh, you know, not as <coughs> dramatic. And you see the, the volume on the, on the side, I really like, you know. It's, you know, you know, me, you know we, people forget sometimes of, of, of how, how we are perceived by others. You know, it's not necessarily from the face, because when you, when you look at someone on the face, like if I look at you now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your eyes, right? But when you observe someone, you observe that person for either the back, three quarter of the back, the profile, three quarter, you know? So everything has to, you know, that, that all, and it respect that all oval, you know, I have this big theory of the oval in my haircut too. And even if it's crazy here, it's still respecting that oval. You know, uh, shape. Uh, you know, all along. You know, you can, I'm going to turn the chair very slowly here. Yeah, yeah. You can see that. And this is done very quickly. You know, I mean, obviously, if, you know, if, if, if it's a big wedding here, or you know, it, it, it can be a little bit more uh, refined. You know, I would say. But on the other hand, I like when we don't have much time because I think hair looks more like alive and, and it looks more like it's being instinctive. You know versus prepare too long in advance. You, know? well, you can uh, you know, accessorize with, uh, with, with anything, you know, for example, uh, I don't know, I, ju I just put this here so in case it, it could be something like this, right? Like this. Maybe only one eye, but no. You know, it could be You know, headband putting on the front, way on the front like this, it's very pretty. You know, people are fancy that headband only goes on the top. But that's kind of like you know, a lane. Voila, and you see the, the back is fun. You know, we're going to put some either little jewelry here. You know, just a hanging jewelry maybe. Why not? With pearls, um, diamonds. Well, I think Chantal is ready now to uh, either go to a you know party, getting married, or grocery shopping. No, it was so nice to be with you here this morning, and uh, I'm Yves Duif at the Carlyle Hotel in New York City. Thank you so much. Have a great day.